Hey folks, this is Shimit and you're listening to my podcast. It's called This Is Me Talking, uh, where I talk about the things and I believe that you guys listen. So let's start the show. It's raining. Wow. Finally. Finally, it's raining. It's horrible. I hate summers, man. Just hate fucking summers. Although just because of the... Because of the pandemic, the temperature has not gone to 48 or 49 in Delhi. So at least that way it's fine. But... I just hate summers. I don't know. Are there any people who love summer? I just don't know. Maybe some guy who is desperately looking to sweat it out. Maybe he loves summer. But I just don't hate summers. I love rains. I love enjoying Rains. When I was a kid, I don't know if you guys have done it. Whenever I was, when I was a kid, I used to collect rainwater. <laughs> yeah, that was kind of a seasonal hobby for me. Like I used to collect rainwater. This is what I used to do. And then I used to make boats, which I think most of us would have done. Uh, uh, okay, uh, I used to make boats and put it out in the rainwater. Uh then I used to take my bicycle and then I used to just splash the water two way. That used to be my hobby, man. That's I used to love it. I still do. But I just don't get too passionate about it. <laughs> because because every passion in my life has ended up as failure. <laughs> I don't want Another passion of mine to end up as a failure. So I don't. <laughs> Anyways, so how's it going, man? It's it's weird. Uh, I've been uh, been painting. Although I've done what uh, five, I've done roughly f- three paintings as of now, and they all are shit. This is just one. The first one which I painted, it was uh, somewhat like there was a like there was a there was a coloring sheet, okay, white coloring sheet, and then I just splashed paint on it with the help of paintbrush. And I don't know what it is, but it is just fucking something which is there, okay. I don't know. I was just saying that. I call that painting as freedom because when I started doing this splashing, I could feel the f- the f- the freedom. You know, there was no strictness. How do I need to splash? This is the pattern. No, there is just fucking brush, color, and the sheet, and just me splashing colors. So I named it as freedom. And then I made the second painting, which was uh, with a black background. It was a black. Like I painted the whole coloring sheet black and then I used a toothbrush with a white paint. So my concept of painting that painting of painting that particular idea was I wanted to paint night. How we like how I look. What is my perspective of night? Night. Okay. Like when I look if it's hard to find clear sky these days but when it's clear and when we look up 
there are stars and everything so so i just wanted to paint that and that that's what i fucked i fucked that painting it was coming up so beautiful it was close to what i imagined okay and uh, it was black background i took white color on a toothbrush and then i started sprinkling it as as stars and then i thought why not i should use a blue color i just don't know why the fuck i did it maybe to make it more perfect but now it sucks i just can't look at it it sucks and then came the third painting i just wanted to i just wanted to paint i have i had this thought of how like what we are like like every human being you know uh, is confused all of us are confused that's true it's it's there uh any great leader or a spokesperson or a psychologist or uh, a, a philo- uh, uh, fuck uh a philanthropist uh anyone anyone you, you see on youtube or you have seen them on uh, on live uh, speaker or okay platform whatever the fuck they call it i think they are also confused somewhere they are also confused so i wanted to paint that confusion i wanted to paint my confusion what the confusion is so i painted the background blue and then i started making a i started making a spiral you know like an unending spiral with with a light pink color but then the the worst part happened that spiral was not coming as i imagined that it would come i am currently using watercolor so maybe because of that it's not happening but yeah so that's how i spoiled all the three paintings and i will paint maybe tomorrow i'll paint let's see i'm just doing it for myself it's just something which i wanted to do that's all it's not it's not going to be a profession okay so relax i am not changing my profession i just can't afford to fail in another profession so relax <laughs> i love doing podcast though and uh, that reminds me i am looking for guests if you are a writer if you are a painter if you are a photographer uh, send me your work and uh, let's have a chat let's have i'll i'll invite you as a guest in my podcast we can have a quick chat it's going to be about you it's going to be about your work that's all so i'm sure it's going to be a good conversation if you're a comedian if you're interested to be a part of this podcast you can just drop me an email uh, or just message me on my social media handles and i'll surely look into it i'm sure we will work out something hmm so what's going on there's nothing been going on actually uh i'm just there is something some thought which is going on uh there is a like you know you are in a you are in a dark room you i have just realized that you can't have like your hope goes on for a toss for some time like you have a hope of something but and you kept going on on that hope it will go on for few time and then it will go for a toss for few time that's been happening with me and i don't know why it's happening but uh, maybe because there is no work as such uh, i don't have a, i don't have any stage time i have done few open mics on uh, zoom app if you guys have heard about it but uh, the thing is online is not that thing i am not the online guy a lot of comedians are doing shows and i respect them to do that but it's just not for me i i still do that just to keep myself busy and keep myself keep that engine uh, going on but i hope 
everything goes fine soon there are a lot of things which i'm a bit worried about uh, just because this hope is going on for a toss but i'm sure it's going to be fine in a week or two so let's wait and watch about that because it is a situation where i can't do anything if uh, if it would have been a situation where i could just record a stand up video and release it uh on youtube okay i could have done that or uh, if i could have up, if if there is a situation where i had to support to approach some uh uh people who can provide me some work i could have done that but this situation uh, this is uh, something which is not apt can you hear the security guard blowing the whistle yeah this fucker thinks that in this society just look look at this guy fucking look at this guy he's passionately blowing the whistle that's the best part isn't that the great part he knows that there won't be any murder or any thief will be coming in our society he knows that but it's just that he is given a job and he's going to do it with passion yeah fucking nobody is keeping a check on this guy but anyway so i'm talking about is talking about what what the fuck i was talking about yeah so uh things are going to be fine uh let's see hopefully it just it starts i have a lot of things which are hung up because of all this uh, fucking situation and uh, maybe that is why i'm just bothered about all these things because there is a sudden not a full stop but it's like a comma and then there is a pause that's all and maybe because of that i'm not able to i have few thoughts which i really want to work on those thoughts but it's just that i'm not getting that vibe or i'm not getting that i know i'm ignoring my work it's my fault only yeah oh yes i can share something with you guys which recently happened uh before i begin the whole situation it's my fault that i have put myself into that situation so you need not to be you need not to patronize me about it's your fault no i already know it's my fault but i'm just sharing it with you guys so that you guys are aware that it's my fault and you should not be in that situation in case so i got a call in the beginning in by the end of may uh, there was this guy uh, vedant he called me uh, from i don't know which city he was from and he said uh, his client needs a stand up comedian uh, in a webinar and i said okay so you're going to do like it, it, the whole show will be on zoom and he asked me my price i said i told him my price then he said i am talking about two shows so i gave him a bit of discount and then he said uh, fine uh, are you sure this is the final price i said yes this is the final price and he said okay fine let me get back to you so he must have discussed with the client and everything he called me and then he said fine uh, we are going ahead with this price uh, about the payment mode it's going to be after two days of the show so i told him uh, bro i don't do any post payment shows i want advance which is going to be 100% or else this show is not happening and then this guy said he kind of started requesting me that sir this is hard times please understand it is hard times for me as well for you as well so let's 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 come to a common point and let's do this it's hard times and i i was constantly saying no to him but then uh it was he called me again after hanging up and then after an hour or so he called me again and he said sir please uh, i request you it's hard times understand i would have not i would have processed 100% payment but this is just hard times and you need to understand please and he started requesting so much so i what i decided 
he said meanwhile this call he said that i am going to uh take our take the client on a conference call with you and uh, he is just going to ask you some things and then uh, we'll take ahead this uh, whole scenario and i was like okay so just to avoid the cheesy part of this guy i just said okay fine let's do it and then this guy after a day he uh, sets up a conference call with the client and then the client says so what i thought that after this conference call i will say no for the show because now here is my first fault i should be a professional being a professional comedian i should not do that if i have said yes then i should stick to that so this is the first fault which i thought okay there is more to it the second thing the conference call happens and i thought i sh- after the conference call i'll say no the conference call happened the client says that you need to do two shows and that's going to be 15 minutes each and i was like okay so i'm not doing 40 45 minutes on zoom app i'm just doing 15 minutes here is the second fault of mine no matter how much the time is you're doing a fucking show be professional even if it is 40 minutes even if it is 2 hours or even if it is 5 minutes it's a show for you so be professional don't let people take a leverage of you so my fucking corrupt mind thought that oh it's just 15 15 minutes each let's do one thing let's go ahead with the show uh, even if the payment doesn't happen i'm going to be fine and I, this is the f- third mistake you won't be ever fine even if someone takes your 100 rupees you won't be ever fine your mind starts playing game with you you won't be fine so don't ever fucking do that don't okay just be professional you have your own terms just be there with your own terms all right so i said yes for the show anyways the show happened after a week first show happened and then i called this guy vedant he said yeah i'm processing the payment uh, but the client was like it was not relatable and shit so basically in stand up when you're doing a show mostly it happens that a client always complains after the show that is i have not done those shows like i have not done that many corporate shows but whatever i have done i have always heard these things okay this or that shit happens so anyways so this guy says yeah i'm processing the payment i'm processing the payment uh and it's been a month i have not received the payment it's been a fucking month i have not received my payment it sucks big time and uh, maybe a part of me is upset because of that and i'm upset on me i'm not upset on that guy look here is the thing i my terms are always clear that i don't do a show without 100% payment in advance but i molded my terms for that guy so i don't owe anything to that guy it's my fault if he is not paying me it's my fault it's not his fault don't ever think that it's fucking horrible i have uh, i'm i'm following with this guy but there is nothing happening i have given him a warning that i'm going to take a legal action uh so let's see this guy is saying that i'm not well i'm not at the right stage as of now and i don't understand you just have one click you can do the transaction these guys these days you can wire the transaction but it's not happening and i'm not going to blame this guy for this because i took the decision to to, to do a post payment show uh post show payment uh, but so yeah i'm a bit upset because of that upset on myself and i'm just letting out to you guys uh, so don't ever do that man just don't change your terms for anyone you have your terms there if someone wants to work with you they'll work with you 
according to your terms until unless the person you are working with you trust them always change like i am not saying to be be very rigid about your terms okay but the thing is you can change your terms but change the terms for a person whom you like who you know who either you have worked with that guy previously or you know them personally or uh, even if you have not worked even if you have not uh, if you, even if you have if you don't know them personally or if you have not worked them worked with them personally but you've heard that this guy is great or this production house is great okay so so then you can mold your terms because there is a trust factor but if there is someone whom you've have never heard about them you have never worked with them don't ever trust when it comes to money when it comes to fucking money don't ever fucking trust them just don't just stick to your terms man don't ever change it it just sucks big time it sucks big time it'll take time to go away but let's see when it goes away maybe soon maybe later uh, but let's see and i hope that he makes a payment <laughs> i just don't know because i don't have an option that's the truth what i believe is that even if i do anything he is not going to pay if he is not to pay yeah, that's the whole point people will pay you if they have to pay you people won't pay you if they don't want to pay you so no matter what you do they won't fucking pay you okay that's the bottom line that's the truth if you if you've taken if you have given money to your friend if that friend has has a, a a thing like what should i call i'm not getting the right word but if that if that friend has a thought to pay you back honestly if that friend is honest about paying you back he is going to pay you but if he is not honest if he he, he has decided inside that he is not going to pay you back he won't no matter what you do no matter which court you go they won't pay you that's that's the truth okay that court thing and every shitty part of the whole if you take an agreement to the court and shit happens it's fucking unpredictable if that guy has guts to steal your money then he has guts to give fake proofs in a court as well so take that as a bottom as 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 the starting point and then think about anything so don't ever do that man just oof let's see anyways i am done with the day so uh you guys take care and have fun uh i'll see you next week uh, thank you for listening appreciate it thank you mm-hmm.